fucking those things rattle in the video. I'm gonna punch it. Hey guys, welcome back to another Mod Bros video. In this video, we're gonna be doing another update video on my Cita. Uh, we did an original review of the Cita once I got it, and I told in that video that I was gonna modify it and make it better to use for the games that we play in. And so this is that video. For starters, this Cita, in my opinion, is great. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I don't really know where to start though because how much there is to it. Open it up. I guess. All right. So one thing that I really love about the, the Cita is that once you remove the pins, you can easily change out the springs. I love quick change spring options. That's why I'm a big fan of the retaliator and stuff. And now I'm also a big fan of the Cita. I don't really see the Cita, the takedown pins for like traveling because whilst you can do that and then I just keep track of the spring, usually I just carry it as a rifle and such. Uh, we'll start with this back part. Uh, I haven't had any issues with the stock moving around because I mostly just keep it fully collapsed. So I haven't really done anything to that. Uh, safety is still there just because I think it's a nifty feature and whatnot. The only real change that I've had to do to the back is I modified it to take the larger springs because it really only took stock retaliation springs, but now I can take a full 62 Hellman or 25 Newton, uh, BT 27 probably, those sort of style of long retaliator size springs. Additionally there, you guys can see my homemade catch because it is running homemade internals that I like doing in retaliators because they're really great. So I have a homemade catch there. It's just made of a stock, the stock catch with a um, little metal sheet to create the new catch ramp. And that's good. Uh, this The catch spring on the Cita is real strong. So <laughs> I may want to work on the trigger a little bit because it's a little bit of a strong trigger pull in order to actually get to fire. I could sand it, you know, change the angle of attack on the trigger or reduce the catch spring. But so, this front receiver is where you have a majority of the changes. I can take this and put like a different upper on and I could probably get sort of standard performance, but this is where I'm gonna see the biggest amount of changes. For one, change the breech, plunger tube, dart gate, barrel, <laughs> all of it. I even added some grip tape to the C to pump grip because I I too, I, it, wasn't, it wasn't terrible. I wasn't having any issues, but I do just like the feel of it with the additional grip tape on there and that feels nice. And this is just black hockey grip tape that makes it uber comfy to use and whatnot. The barrel is a brass barrel. Uh, let's see if I can show you. I have a Merlin at the end. A brass Merlin barrel. It's a little, it's kind of long and it could probably be improved upon, but I'm getting pretty straight shots out of it. So I'm fairly proud of it. Shout out to Chris for the design between the Merlin and whatnot. So this is my plunder tube. It is a 1.5 inch metal sink drain. Uh, I like this because, oh God. Let's <laughs> commit suicide. Uh, I like this because in the stock CETA plunder tube, you get about 57 cc's of air. Whereas in this one, I have 82 uh, usable cc's of air. And then you can also see here, my homemade plunger rod running a skirt seal homemade catch and nylon and stuff. It's just made of a bunch of stuff I get from Ace Hardware. And, you know, it's just whatever. <laughs> I don't know how good the air seal is because I can't really plug the front uh, because there's an air leak where I have the Merlin connected, but that's fine. And then the homemade breech slash bolt sled is here. This is just the way I've been doing it. One inch PVC, little bits of acrylic for the pump arms to connect to. They screw in really nicely. And so that's good. I also have a full length Ooh. Yeah, you guys can see it well off. It's a full length quarter dart uh, brass breech. So I can chamber either full length or half length with no issues. It's really feeds really well. And then I also have a dart stop at the bottom there to prevent them from getting vacuum loaded. So yeah, I'm getting, it's one of my, well, honestly, one of my smoothest brass breeches for feeding. Oh God, getting the O-ring to sit in there is a little difficult, but. Oh, there you go. All right. Uh, so it's a Cita with more plunger volume, a better spring. I'm currently getting about 200 FPS with full length darts. We can't really crony half lengths currently, but I'm getting 200 FPS out of the full length 62 Hillman. 
So I'm more than proud of that performance. And honestly, another thing that's really interesting is because of the way that I designed this and I made this, I made the seat of more of a test platform. So I actually have this here, which is a stampede spring, which will fit over the 62 Hillman. And it stopped, it has a different uh, rest height than the 62 Hillman. So the 62 Hillman goes to about here, but the stampede spring stops about here. So I get both springs and we can test out that performance and see what that gets for you. Right now. Get a stampede spring? I don't think it's an actual stampede spring. I think it's uh so oh fuck. God damn. Uh Orange Modworks has a spring that fits in Night Finders, Stampedes, and Cyclone Jocks, and I believe I got that. And I believe Night that's what stampedes of the same size spring. Yeah. Uh Orange Modworks is a big fan of just putting putting the springs that they already have into other things. Mm -hmm. So if they can, they're gonna do it. Get that shit out of here. God, get this. It's a little bit difficult to get it all put back together because of the fact that the plunger tube does not click into the original slots where the where the old plunger tube sits. But once you get everything lined up, All right, guys. So we're we're still currently working on the uh, Lego D D E I chronograph. Die. Yeah, the Lego die chronograph. So we're just gonna fire off a few darts through the Nerf chrono barrel. I have, I think, I think seven or eight full length darts loaded up. So we're just gonna fire them through. Oh God! <laughs> Shoot them at the pillow so you don't shatter the darts. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh God! Turn on. 231. Hell yeah. Now we're talking 231. This is with the double springs. Stop shaking. 257. 257. God damn. What? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> 242. <laughs> yeah, 242. 237. Yeah, this is the problem. I can't tell if I... Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, it fell out. There we go. <laughs> that is one interesting thing. The CETA mag release has been giving me some problems with actually, like, keeping the mag in the blaster sometimes. 226. 226! Do you have one left? Yeah. 210. Oh, I have one more. Running out with seven dark. 240. 240. That was a low oh, of 210, uh, a high of 257. Yep. Uh, fairly proud of that. I mean, like, it's. I don't think it's as hard to prime as your 25 kg. Oh, that's XZ. nearly impossible. It's <laughs> 18 or 20 is all you need in that. Like, at least I can do this. Like, you can't even get. Even for the X, for the X Zeus, I'm having to use both hands and pull it back. This I can prime with one arm, and like, sure, it probably won't be super enjoyable for like a long game, but it's more than good enough to get those high numbers. And since it's got the, oh. <laughs> I can't like the dark didn't shatter. <laughs> hmm, interesting. What broke? Nothing. Slam fired for some reason. Can it see the slam fire? No, <laughs> it shouldn't. Shouldn't have, but it did. I guess the uh, double spring is not oh. the best. Uh, but yeah, so I could work on the catch a little bit more and then I could probably run double spring, but most likely I'll just stick to the one <laughs> and settle for 200. Although two, 250 was nice. I'm glad to have gotten a seat at 250, but eh, it's whatever. Now you have to hit 300 with a cedar. 300 out of a cedar? Or 300 Springer? of a retaliator Base. platform. Yeah, because the seat is a retaliated platform. Yeah. There's nothing outstanding. Uh, I don't know how possible that is. I don't even know if I've seen someone do that. Well, then you need to be the I've first. heard two, I've heard like 270 something. But that was with like the blaster tech good, good spring. Have you waxed this barrel? No. Wax the barrel. <sighs> okay, I can't. Get rid of those air leaks.
But yeah, guys, that's my modified Cedar with the homemade internals. I hope you guys liked it, and I hope you maybe learned a thing or two. But that's going to be it for this video. I will check you guys out in the next one, all right? Bye.